it's Tuesday and um, it's 2.30 in the morning and we're on the road right now going to Pueblo picking up the rock cart. After we go to Pueblo to pick up the cart, we're going to Vegas and uh, it's going to be a long drive. <laughs>
So this year's K1 Speed Championship was really crazy. This year, at the very beginning of the season, I actually won my very first race. I was very proud of myself. Um, and through on, I just won a bunch of races. And every race, I got happier and happier because I believed in myself more and more. And I thought, I could do this. I can, I can do a sweep that nobody has done at this track before. And so at the very last race, it was actually really close. Thatcher Loper was actually only one-tenth slower behind me. So I was like, okay, I got to pick up the pace now. Um, but I still won, and I got my very first sweep. Here is my trophy. I am very proud of it. It's even got my number on it because I won. I really like it. It's got tons of detail. It's just a really cool trophy. I really like this trophy. So thank you, K1 Speed. I had a great time. When I won the championship, I won eight free races, a $60 gift card, and this trophy. So we're going to be going there more to try to break the track record by Elvis Rankin. We got lemons. That's going in lemonade. <laughs> So as you guys know, I was at Rock the Rio in Las Vegas in October. And today for Triple R, we're going to talk about what I did right and learn from and what I did wrong and learn from. So what I did wrong and learn from is that there is a really complex and hard 
right left before the start finish line and I really struggled on that corner. Um, what I was doing is I was really overdriving that corner and it was pushing me to the inside and it just ruined the exit on the left hander to the start finish line. What I learned is that the rock motor, the torque band is in the high RPMs. So what I did to change that is I had to pump the brakes to kind of kick it sideways and keep the RPMs high to just launch me out of that corner and get me an okay exit on that left hander. And the timing, I turned in earlier so I could hit the apex better because before when I was pushing wide, I was going too fast and I wasn't timing it right. I was going as fast as before, but I was turning in too late. So by the end of that final, I was putting in times that were competitive with the top five. So what I did right and learned from, I felt like I literally slowed down time. When I watched the GoPro footage, everything happened so much more faster. When I slowed down time, I think that's how I avoided so many wrecks and there were so many wrecks happening and I just dodged them all and I, that built so much confidence. And also, when I started passing people, I felt like, wow, I can actually do this. This is my home. I can win one of these. And that built my confidence even more. I belong there. I need to do more national races. So I started a GoFundMe page. The link is in the below. Below? Is link in the below? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. So I started a GoFundMe page. The link is below. So we can try to make this happen in 2020. The winter tour races start in January. So if you are able and you want to help me climb the ladder of success in racing, please take a look at the link and consider donating. <laughs> So every year, the Colorado Karting Tour holds a championship banquet where they give out awards and trophies to the series winners. I came second in the Junior One Cadet Class Championship. My great competitors, um, the number five is Spencer Smith. He is a great competitor. Um, he won one of the races, congratulations. He came third in the championship, also congratulations to him for that. Derek Potts in the number 13, he was my biggest competitor. He was really smooth and clean with his passes. I wanted to give him big thanks for that. I had a great time racing with all of them. I worked my butt off racing all the time. That is my trophy. I'm very proud of it. I had a good time racing this year. Thanks as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate you. We're gonna have a ton of new awesome videos for you to watch. Um, we got a new Rotax motor, so we're going to do a bunch of setup builds, and we're going to race the Rotax series next year, so that's going to be fun. Eric Gunderson from Point Karting was awesome enough to provide a Briggs LL206 motor named Lieutenant Dan that he's had for a long time. We're going to get a whole rebuild kit, and we're going to like triple the horsepower on that thing, and we're going to test it. We're going to do a whole build series, and we're going to do testing against that motor against a sealed Briggs. It's gonna be so much fun, I can't wait. We're also gonna do some tech videos with point carding aimed at my age group. That's gonna be a lot of fun. We're also gonna do an awesome Pontiac Firebird Trans Am model car build. We got tons of paint, we're gonna make it custom. Cadence Presley 1C, it's gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. This car is awesome. I love these Pontiac Trans Ams. They're one of my favorite muscle cars. And we're maybe gonna do some winter tour racing if funding is met. So please, again, go check out my GoFundMe link. So I just wanna give a quick shout out to my buddy Michael Costello. He's got a great YouTube channel. You should go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. He's got lots of footage from national races. It's great stuff. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Make sure you click that subscribe button, smash that subscribe button. I need lots of subscribers. Make sure you click that like button, comment down below what you think about the Rock the Rio experience and if you're excited about these new episodes you're gonna watch. Also, click that notification bell so you can be the first one to watch my videos. Happy holidays, everybody.